Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! That's me. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, 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 review stuff. And I'm back for another review, an unexpected review, but a review that I am very, very excited about. So over on my Peter Does Stuff channel today, I did a huge birthday P.O. unboxing, all the things that I was sent for my uh, birthday that I picked up at the P.O. A box, the P.O., <laughs> P.O., P.O. <laughs> That means post office box that I got at the uh, the PO the pew the pew box <laughs> That sounds so bad that I got at the post office box yesterday and in there Brittany She sent me this beautiful card. Thank you, Brittany. I really appreciate it But she also gave me some things to try and I'm really really excited about it So the first thing which I'm going to try last, okay, is this Nando's Perry Perry sauce garlic medium. I know nothing about this sauce. Is it like hot sauce? Where are my reading glasses at? I had them right here. Put them in my pocket. Oh, here they are. I always have a pair of reading glasses on me. So I don't know anything about this sauce. She didn't say why she sent it to me. I guess she wants me to try it. It's five calories, zero fat, 105 uh, milligrams of sodium, zero carbs, and zero protein. And it says on here, our peri-peri sauce is, peri-peri, is made with African bird's eye chili and a blend of ingredients, onions, sun ripened lemons, garlic, and spices. This one has an extra wave of garlic flavor. Peri Peri is the heart and soul of Nando's and the secret ingredient behind our restaurants worldwide. I've never been to a Nando's or ever heard of it, but I'm very, very excited about this. I'm very, very Nando Nando. <laughs> I'm very excited to try this. So thank you so much, Brittany, for sending this to me. But I have to tell you what I'm even more excited about trying. We'll try this one last because I feel like this is hot sauce. Um, or kind of like hot sauce, but I love anything garlic. I was just talking about that yesterday in my review video. But what I'm really, really excited about now, y'all know I love ranch, okay? I eat ranch on my breakfast food. I love it on my omelets. I love it on anything, eggs. I love my french fries dipped in ranch. I love pizza dipped in ranch. I love anything dipped in ranch. I am such a ranchaholic, okay? In the Midwest, it's kind of like, well, it's so funny when we like travel other places because in the Midwest, to, at, at, to ask for like ketchup but also ranch at like a restaurant, like for your fries, is like nothing. Like they, it just like doesn't seem like anything. But when we go out of state, like anywhere, especially like California, when I ask for ranch, they're always kind of like, I'm like, I don't know if it's like just a Midwest thing. Um, not so much on my fries, but like if we ask for it like at a pizza place or because my husband loves ranch on his pizza too. You dip it in the ranch, okay? Um, but if we ask, like, at a pizza place for ranch or, like, at a breakfast place, if I ask for ranch, they always kind of, like, look at me a little strange. But anyway, so Brittany sent me these two ranches. So I love it. And Hidden, Hidden Valley is one of my favorite ranches of life, okay? I don't, to be honest with you, and I know a lot of people d disagree with me, but I don't love, like, going to a restaurant when they have, like, the house ranch. I don't love that, okay? And it usually messes with my stomach because it's got, like, you know, creams and things in it. I just love straight off the Walmart shelf or the grocery store shelf, the Hidden Valley. So this is the Hidden Valley, the original ranch, pickle flavored ranch. Oh my God. And it says on here, dip it, dunk it, drizzle it. Okay. Which is exactly what you do with ranch. But the next one is even more fun. Are you excited? And this is the Hidden Valley, the original ranch, cheese it. <laughs> okay. Can take it in. It's got cheese it and stuff on it. Cheesy ranch. Made with 100% real cheese. I didn't even know Cheez-Its were made with 100% real cheese, but I'm real excited about this one. It says on the back here, we've teamed up with our friends at Cheez-It to bring you the cheesiest ranch yet. The original uh, creamy Hidden Valley ranch you love, now made with 100% real cheese. <laughs> Does Cheez-Its have real cheese in it? Who knew? Not me. So anyway, I'm going to try that one. Does it say on here on the back, or does it say... It doesn't say anything. I was actually telling my friend, Nikki, this the other day, that my friend Nikki that was in my video when I went to Arizona, and it's like forever this ongoing joke. You know, like sometimes you have those jokes after a while, it's like, okay, that joke's not fun anymore. This joke will never not be funny for us. When we did those breakfast sandwiches, those Morningstar breakfast sandwiches, and we both looked at each other and we goes, it smells like maple. Do you remember that? Okay, that is still a joke between Nikki and I. At least once a week we text that to each other. It smells like maple. 
But there, anyway, I was telling Nikki about my friend Tanya Jean. She makes this. It is so gross looking. Okay, it's like cottage cheese, mayonnaise. It's like the, the powder ranch dressing. You know what I'm talking about? Like the powder. She puts like a cup of it in there. It is so greasy and gross. And you dip tortilla chips in it or Lay's or whatever you want. It's the ruffled Lay's are the best with it. It is so good but so disgusting to look at. So anyway... She, uh, so it kind of reminds me a little bit of ranch because she puts the ranch stuff in there. So I got the pickle ranch and I got the cheese at ranch. Which one should I try first? Here, here's my thumbnail. I cannot wait to try these. Okay, I want to try the cheese at one for a second. So let's try because the pickle ranch, I have a feeling I love anything that tastes like a pickle. My friend Tiny Jean, we went to a meeting last night on the way home. She got these potato chips. They were like those, that brand, that uh, Zach, no, Zaxby's is the restaurant, but there's something like start with a Z. Do y'all know the chips I'm talking about? And she got the dill pickle flavored one. And she goes, when we were on the way home, she goes, do you like dill pickles? And I go, who doesn't like a dill pickle? <laughs> I mean, is that even a question? I love dill pickles. I love those. Do you call them jerkins or gherkins? I call them jerkins, but I love those sweet jerkins pickles, too. Oh, my God. My mom used to put, she cut those up and put those in tuna fish salad sandwiches when I was a little kid. I never really did like fish, but I did like tuna fish salad sandwiches and crab meat rangoon. Those were like, and shrimp every once in a while. That was before I was a vegetarian. Now I don't eat that stuff. But every once in a while, I would, I would eat that, you know. But anyway, my mom, she would put celery and she would put them sweet gherkins, jerkins or whatever you call them, in uh, tuna fish salad sandwiches. Oh, my God, it was so good. I loved it so much. Okay, so here it is. I'm just going to take it right out of the bottle because I just had to peel this thing off. That was a lot of work, okay? So that was a lot of work. So we're just going to, we're going to dip right in here. Somebody yesterday said they love my review videos, but they don't like when I, uh, when I chew with my mouth open. And what's so weird about that is when I started doing like mukbangs and things like that, I didn't want to do them. If you remember, I'd always like cover my mouth and stuff like that because my mom always said it's rude to, uh, to chew with your mouth open. And so it's like something I'm real weird about. Like I always like if I'm at a restaurant, people, mm, I never like, I try. And when somebody called me out on that, I was like, oh my God, is that, was I doing that? If I was doing that, I need to like pay better attention. So I'm sorry if I chew with my mouth open. But anyway, okay, let's try a little bit of this. I know people are like, you're eating it off your, girl, it's ranch dressing. You dip your fries in it, okay? Get over it that I'm putting it on my finger. She smells a little bit more cucumbery than pickly, but I don't mind it at all. Oh, this is so good. See, I could just eat it straight off. I get spoonfuls of this. I mean, it's so good. I mean, ranch dressing is the bomb malicious. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh my God. I think this might be better, better than regular ranch. My husband, this is the thing. I was telling Tony this last night. Don't you hate... It just went underneath under the hosta. I'm going to have to put it over here and get the lid afterwards. Don't you hate... Now, I did bring some water out here with me to, like, clean my palate. But don't you hate, like, when you, you offer something to somebody because you want them to try it because you like it, you know? Every once in a while, I will, I will be like, oh, this is so gross, you should try it. But, like, no, but usually, you know, like, when you like something, you want somebody to try it. And so you're like, oh, you should try this. It's really good. My husband, no matter what it is, it could be, like, the most amazing thing in the entire world. He'll be like, the only thing he has ever, like... Back in the day when I would get those donuts from Costco, those, uh, I just got them in Mexico, what are those things called? I can never remember those sticks that you dip, like, in chocolate and stuff like that. Those donuts are the best thing ever on the face of the earth, and he did try those, and he loves those. I don't buy them anymore, because I can't, because I'm on a weight loss journey. Come on now. I'm on a weight loss journey, eating ranch dressing off my finger. This right here, I'm telling you, is a 10 out of 10, okay? This Hidden Valley Ranch, I gotta read it upside down. Pickle flavored, this is a 10 out of 10 all day long. I'm telling you right now, it is a 10 out of 10. Okay. I think it might be better than the regular ranch. No true story. I mean, the aftertaste is pickle, but the before taste, like as it's going down, is it smells more cucumbery than it does pickle. Okay, let's try this one. I didn't shake up the other one. Oh, well. Uh, this is the original ranch cheese. it I don't really know what to think of this. I kind of think it's just gonna taste like, I'm gonna put this over here so it doesn't roll off. I'm, I think this is just gonna kind of taste like cheese sauce like that whiz you oh my god that cheese whiz do you remember that i used to love my mom she never wanted to get that for me but i always wanted i'm like mom please let me have some of that cheese whiz i love that cheese whiz on a trisket oh my god that's how you know you're healthy okay if listen if you're on a diet okay just put some cheese one on a whiz on a trisket it's like that's back in the day everybody be like triscuits are set like their diet for no they're not they're just as unhealthy for you as any other cracker out there but i did love a good trisket i still i still love a good trisket cheese whiz some put on Triscuit. That's about as hors d'oeuvre as we get around here, okay? Chef's kiss. Triscuit, a trasket with some... <laughs> trasket. A Triscuit, a trasket with some cheese whiz on it. Man, you are set for life. Okay. 
Oh, this smells so good. It smells like nacho cheese right out of the machine. You know, the machine, you know, you know what I'm talking about at the gas station. You know what I'm talking about. When you make your own nachos, you get them in that little paper thing, you know, that you squirt. I, I love that so much. I know it's trashy, but I don't care because I like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of trashy sometimes. I don't mind. I like it. Okay, this sounds, this, I'm excited about this. But does it taste like ranch? Okay. It's kind of spicy. That is so good. Oh my God. I mean, you wouldn't want to put it on a salad, but who puts ranch on a salad anyway, okay? Fooling yourself into thinking you're on a diet. You know it's got more calories than a cheeseburger. Do you not know that? But anyway, oh my God, that is so good. It's kind. Of, it's not spicy, but it kind of is a little. Pizza would be, pizza and fries. And that's basically everything that I eat anyway. This would be so good on cheeseburger or pizza or fries. It still tastes like ranch. It almost kind of tastes like a, there's a little bit of barbecue sauce in there, too. It straight up tastes like a cheese it I'm telling you, straight up tastes like a cheese it This is so, they are both tens for me, you guys. Oh, my God, this is so fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited. Brittany, oh, my God, Brittany, you got me the new ranches. I'm so excited about this. Okay, now let's try this Nando's. I don't know nothing about her. She did, though. But, okay, let's try this Nando's. Have you ever heard of Nando's? Is it a restaurant? I should probably look it up or something. I never heard of it. If we got one in Indianapolis, if I like the sauce, I might have to go. Or not. <laughs> Maybe I'll just order some food from there. Oh, my God. If I like this, I'm going to get online tonight. I'm going to be like, is there a Nando's in Indianapolis? If there is, I don't even care if it's 45 minutes away. I'm going to order food. Then people will be like, oh, you're making the drivers drive that far away. I tip really good. The drivers for the food and stuff like that. Why can't I get this cap off? See, that's why you have to watch everything you say in videos. Because if you say I'm going to order something that it's like an hour away, then people are like, well, you got to be considerate of the drivers. Yeah, yeah, okay. So anyway, my husband's on his way home. He might be home any second. That girl is hanging out the window eating a lollipop or a, a, a sucker. What do you call it? Oh, it smell, smells kind of fishy a little bit. <laughs> what does it smell like? Maybe not fishy. It reminds me of something. Definitely not really. It doesn't really smell garlicky. I don't want to get this all over. Hold on a second. It's hot sauce for sure. Woo! -hoo! Woo! -hoo! My husband, I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? No offense, Brittany, I do not like this, okay? The only time I really like hot sauce, well, sometimes on my eggs, but mostly, oh God, it's so hot. My husband got me started on this. It's not bad, it's good, it's a good hot sauce. It kind of reminds me of the Crystal's hot sauce. I used to get it when I would get Yats, which is like red beans and rice. I, I like that, I like hot sauce in that. The only time I usually eat hot sauce, my husband got me started on this, is you mix it in your macaroni and cheese. Have you ever, you never have had uh, hot sauce in your macaroni and cheese? Have you lost your mind? You need to try it. It's so good. Yeah, this reminds me of Crystal's. Is Crystal's like, is Nando's like a, a Cajun place? It's good. But I kind of like, my neighbor across the street, I'm going to have to ask him if he knows about this because he knows like every hot sauce in the entire world. He goes to this place in Cincinnati called Jungle Gems just to go buy his hot sauces. I mean, I'll be honest with you, like, mm, I kind of taste the garlic now. I love garlic. Oh my God. I don't even care if my breath stinks like it. I just love garlic so much. But, I mean, a hot sauce is kind of a hot sauce to me depending on how hot it is. I would say for me on a scale of one to ten, this is like a six or seven. Like, this is hot for me. Maybe an eight. Like, I couldn't go much hotter than this. But, yeah, we'll use that because Alex loves the hot sauce. But I am so excited about these ranches. These are straight up 10 out of 10s. Oh, on a rating scale, the hot sauce. I don't know what to rate it because to me, like I said, a hot sauce is a hot sauce. I'm not a, my husband is like he uses hot sauce on everything. I'd have to ask him what he'd give it. For me as a hot sauce, I'd probably give this. Well, the hotness level is between a 6 and an 8. The more I'm sitting here, it's more of an 8 than a 6. But taste-wise, it really reminds me of Crystal's a lot. Um, and I used to put that on my yacht. So I give this about, I give it about a seven, seven and a half. A solid, I give it a solid seven and a half. <laughs> seven and a half. I, I'm wanting to go towards a seven. I'll give it a solid seven. Now watch, like two days from now, I'll be on here. I'll be like, oh my God, I love that Nando's so much. Is it Nando's? Is it Nando's? I don't know. 
Let me know what your favorite hot sauce is in the comment section below. I probably won't buy it because I don't love hot sauces. But wasn't that so nice of Brittany to send me all this stuff? Now, I will tell you what I will use, okay? I'm going right over there and I'm getting the cap and I'm going to wash it off after I from the hostas. But this Hidden Ranch stuff, this is the bombalicious right here. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.